quiet on the set. Anyway, <clears throat> I can remember back, as far back as I can remember, the, the, the royal wedding of Princess Di, Princess Diana and Prince Charles, and <clears throat> I remember it being this big mega spectacle in, on TV here in America, and I can remember as a child asking my mother, you know, who are these people and why is, you know, our world stopping here to, to celebrate this event? She basically explained to me, like, well, the one guy's a prince, and she's a princess, and you have to get married, they have kids, their kids will become the king and queen of England, and I was like, oh, well, they, they get to become, like, their president over there, and she goes, well, no, there's a prime minister and a parliament that does the work of, like, what a president does here in America, and I'm like, oh, well, then what do the king and queen do? And she's like, well, they're just basically a, a tradition thing, and she basically explained it like that, and... I was like, okay, why, why is that a big deal at all in America? And I can remember thinking that, thinking that years upon years ago in my childlike mind, and then getting an understanding of history and world leaders and policy and politics and all that and coming to today and having the same question, why does anyone in America get captivated by the English royal family. And I just, I to this day, I will never understand the level of fascination. Yes, I understand that it's a, it's a symbol of the old style world, for lack of a better term. It's something that deserves its place as far as, you know, a tourist attraction. You know, there's a rich history with England as far as kings and queens and all that shit. But to, for it to be so embraced in America, of all places, a place that has, <laughs> throughout any given course in time, through kings and queens that ruled England, have been uh, <laughs> anything but a nice relationship. In fact, America didn't have a nice relationship till the powers of the kings and queens were stripped, and you know, America is joining up with England in World War II, and it's like you know, not aligning with the king and queen. It's aligning with Winston Churchill and his leadership in England, and. It's just, I, I don't know, just something I've never understood that, like, whenever Prince William does something, it's on the front page of every tabloid and every paparazzi magazine in America. It sells off the shelves, and, and just every time one of them gets married, it's a big deal. Anytime one of them dresses up like a Nazi at a Halloween party, it's a big deal over here, and shit like that, and I'm just like... Who cares what these people do? Why? Why is America so fascinated with the royal family? Like, I can understand if, if England or any part of the UK is fascinated with this. I can understand. It's a, a deeper, richer tradition, you know, in the lands that, you know, the monarchies once ruled. But it just, it just baffles me that we have such a fondness for any monarchy of any sort being a country that's never been ruled by a monarchy unless you count the times that you know it was ruled by guys like King George the third and you know leading to the American Revolution and all that shit but it's always been just a, a constant understanding in Western world politics that a rule by a monarchy is a rule you do not want to govern your land ruling by a bloodline is terrible it's something that is shunned it's something that, you know, you should have an elected leader by the people, uh, electing or just having someone be the next in line via a bloodline is dumb. North Korea, I'm talking to you. Case in point. But anyway, uh, I, I, I don't know. It's just, it's just so weird. Like, even to this day, anything the royal family does is, is eaten up by America. Like, like, we love it. And it's like, why? Now, I understand, like, some of you out there will be like, well, it's because, you know, they're celebrities. Why does, you know, any time, you know, Brad Pitt or Angelina Jolie adopt a kid, a big story, or anything like that? Well, the difference being is that Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie make, you know, media that is enjoyed by millions upon millions of people. People pay to see their, you know, performances on screen or stage or what have you. Whereas, you know, Prince Harry was just born. People will be like, well, Paris Hilton was just born and, you know, she's a celebutard that's worshipped and, well, you know, she got pretty popular because of the, the porn she made, but she comes from a significant wealth and notoriety in this country. I guess that's like the closest thing you're going to get to like 
a level of monarchy appreciation in England as like someone like Paris Hilton being popular just because she's born. But I don't know. I just I just don't understand the fascination in America with the royal family. My God, anytime one of them gets the flu, it's it's on a newspaper somewhere in America and I don't know. It's just it's just something that oh New dog. I'm, I'm making a very, very serious video here and you're disrupting it. You know, I make a very professional product. I know you want to show everyone your Halloween toy while you beat me with it, but that's okay. Look at that. He's a... <laughs> ah, you goof! Ah, you goof! <laughs> anyway. <laughs> um, Alright, new dog's gonna face fuck his Halloween toy and have good times with that. Girl Fiend, you used to live in England. What do you think of the royal family? I think that it's rooted in tradition and it's something that the English people aren't willing to give up. Not all of them are that into it. It's just kind of like the celebrities here. As a, a former resident of the United Kingdom, would you say they are more into it than America? Because it seems like every time there's a royal wedding or something here, America goes ape shit. Like, are they like just like head over heels? Yeah, you don't know about all the collectible memorabilia for the... Um... I'm sorry, what was that word? For Prince William and Kate, they had all these commemorative plates and cups and all sorts of shit. Wow. Okay. Well, there you go. Former resident of the United Kingdom, Girl Fiend, chiming in with her knowledge of living under the monarchy there in England. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm just crazy. Maybe this is just Some a of them can't stand the monarchy either. Well, that is true. To my UK viewers, do you despise the monarchy? Like, you Ask know, Cammy a Bams. He doesn't go by that name anymore. He's, um, I forget his name now. I'm sorry, Cammy. I forgot your, your new screen name. Anyway, um, shit. <laughs> I forgot your name. That, that would have been good to have that memorized. Anyway, um, what, how do you people think, to my English viewers out there, do you, you know, care every time Prince William does something? Because I can tell you right now, it, it's all, every time he does something, it's all over the tabloid shows and magazines over here. Uh, is it something that you guys wish would just like, you know, just like diminish away because it's a symbol of nothing? It's something where, you know, they don't have any power. The Queen of England can't just say, all right, we're going to war with Italy. Send the troops. And the Prime Minister would say, um, Queen, um, just go back to vacuum in Parliament but or something. But they've had kings and queens since the Middle Ages so for like so far back. And it's just rooted in tradition. But it's rooted in a tradition that became to be evolved as despising uh, kings and queens are looked upon as having too much power, too much wealth, too much tyranny, and leading to a lot of bad things in this world. Um, though, you could say, led to some good things as well. Conquesting of the world, inquisition, all stuff like that was primarily rooted in the, the rule of kings and queens, and that's something that when you look back on history, it's like, well, we're not too proud of that as a human race. But it is tradition, as she said, and it's a big tourist attraction in England, so, you know, who am I to tell England to shut down one of their biggest money makers? So, anyway, just something to think about, guys. Um, I'm going to let New Dog continue face-fucking his pumpkin here. And happy early Halloween to everyone. And go, Eagles. Please beat the Giants. Please. It's going to be terrible if you lose. Girl Fiend, are the Eagles going to beat the Giants? Who cares? Oh, that's about right. Anyways, have a great day, everyone.